This video is going to show you how to import course material into an empty course in D2L version 10.3. The process is very similar to that in D2L 10.0, but it's a little bit different, so we're going to take a look at it now. The first thing you want to do before you even begin is you want to know the course number of the course you want to copy the content from. That's going to be important when we have to select what course to pull content from. Right now, I'm beginning in the empty course to which I want to pull the material into. So here I am in the empty course. I'm going to select Edit Course from the menu. I'm going to find the Import Export Copy Components link and click that. And then here's where I start copying the components in. Probably what you're going to want to do is the very first default option, copy components from another org unit. And here's where it's a little bit different from previous versions. Right here on this screen, you're going to click Search for Offering. And that's going to bring up this little pop-up menu where you can search for the course you want to pull the content from. Now, if you've written down the course ID, you can type it right into this box, but you can also leave the box empty and click the search magnifying glass icon. And this is going to bring up a list of all the courses in which you've been enrolled as a faculty member. So this could be a very long list if you've taught a lot of courses. Um, this is why you really want to know the number and the code of the course you want to pull the content from. But you'll select the course from that list. You'll click Add Selected, and then you can decide if you want to copy all the components in the course or if you want to select specific components. Now, you use this Select Components box if you want to specifically choose to use, let's say, only the content, or if you choose, you know, you only want to use the files or the grades. If you want to use a specific part, then do that Choose Components to Copy. For this example, I'm just going to say Copy All Components. And I'll do that by clicking the Copy All Components button. It's going to take a little bit to think about this. It's going to take a little bit for processing. Once it's done, you can either copy in another package from another course, or you can view that content. Now you can see I've added in the content from the old course, and I have it ready to go in my new course that was formerly empty.